Hi everyone, this is Jordan and thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel, Teaching in Tiaras. Today's video is pretty impromptu. I received a lovely little surprise in the mail today. Actually, it wasn't very much of a surprise. I've been tracking it since it left the, the plant. But anyway, <laughs> the reason that I received this little surprise in the mail is because I am attempting to solve a problem. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I am basically a diehard plum paper planner fan. I have done my research and I've tried to figure out whether or not I could switch to a different planner, but I keep coming back to the large plum paper teacher planner. Now, unfortunately, I had a little bit of an accident, kind of a surprising accident that I didn't expect, and I'm going to show you um, what that problem was and how I'm going to fix it. The problem, of course, was with the planner. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix it. I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison between this year's planner and last year's planner, just one little thing because it's important. And then I'm going to open up my planner and show you how I have been setting it up. And that'll be it. So one thing that I have uh, to request of my viewers, if you view this video, I have a beautiful new webcam sitting on top of my computer. And I know that a lot of people who do planner videos, they manage to get the camera somehow in the air so that they're looking straight down at the book. I have no idea how to do that. I've been trying to rig it up on the blinds. I've been trying to, like rig it on a selfie stick or something like that and it just doesn't seem to work. So if you have any useful tips and tricks on how I can mount my little, it's like this big, uh, webcam on something in order to get it to go show downwards and I would really appreciate that. So let's get this video started on my little issue with the large plum paper teacher planner. All right everyone, so I'm going to start this video off by showing you my last year's large plum paper teacher planner. It has been well worn in. I absolutely loved using this planner and part of my goal from last year was to just use it every single day, which I made a very very valiant effort to do. So, well the one thing that I want to show you in comparison um, between this one and my brand new one is the cover. So you can see that I, I you know, I've done up the cover, but um, part of the issue with this planner, last year's planner that I had, was this opaque, kind of flimsy cover. Now, it didn't break or anything, I didn't have any issues with it until kind of the end of the year when it started to get really hot and humid. So if you, whoa, I just hit myself in the face. If you take a close look at this cover, you can see that it is kind of, um, well, it started to warp a little bit. It started to get nice and uh, wavy there on the sides, and so I I think that is just this plasticky material. That's kind of just how it works. And so I, again, I really didn't have any like issues with it, but the front cover especially did start to do that, um, that little warping right there. So that is, again, because it is a plasticky, flimsy cover. One thing that this year's planner did that I am super impressed with and I really loved is that they changed the protective cover. So I'm gonna show you my new one. This is the new one, and as you can see, you can kind of see the reflection of my computer in the cover already. I really like this cover because you can barely see it. It is very, like, thick, strong plastic, and I have no worries that this is going to warp. I don't think, I don't even think leaving it in the sun would cause it to warp like it did um, with the other one. So I really love the brand new shiny see-through covers. Now, here's the problem. I did not expect this problem to happen. Um, I've been carting around my planner just, you know, if I you know, have something to write in and I'll write in it. And so I've been carting it around and I went to my mom's house and I left my planner in the car. Now I was parked in the shade. <laughs> you can kind of try, you can kind of already see where this is going, but I was parked in the shade at my mom's house. And so when I got back, <laughs> this is what happened. This is unscathed. However, the front cover is not. So this is what happened. I'm assuming that because this is like a clear, like nice clear plastic, that it just amplified whatever heat or sun or anything, it just amplifies whatever sits on top of the planner that has to do with heat. And so um, it's even, it's really difficult to see, but you can see kind of like right here that I have some major warping going on with the um, front decorative color. 
cover, excuse me. But yeah, I cannot have my planner look like this. So, womp womp. So that's what happened. It didn't happen to the back cover, but it did happen to the front cover enough where I had to solve the problem. So here is how I solved this problem. All right, so let's get to the problem solving. What I have done is I have cut off the decorative plum paper cover. I just snipped it right at the coil, and this will give you a better kind of indication of how much um, the heat or you know whatever accidentally caused this problem, um, how much the heat really warped the cover. You can see it kind of on the back, here down in the corner, and you can see it on the front definitely as the light kind of hits this side. Um, so yeah, I did end up snipping the cover off. Now, Plum Paper online offers interchangeable covers. This is something relatively new that I actually didn't even know about, and if it's not new, then I just was silly enough not to look into them. Um, Plum Paper has some really cute covers, I especially like their, like, their newer designs. But instead of uh, purchasing one from them, because at the time I didn't actually know <laughs> that they had them, instead I purchased three, yes, I said it, three Erin Condren covers. Now, I love the colorfulness of the Erin Condren covers. I know that they are super, super well laminated. I don't have any worries that they're going to withstand the test of time and withstand the test of heat. I have had an Erin Condren planner in the past and I was very pleased with the quality. Just didn't work out for me. That's why I don't use it anymore. However, I crossed my fingers ordered Erin Condren covers on June 30th and just received them today, July 18th. Now, I know that there is a lot, a lot of people ordering Erin Condren stuff, so I was like, oh my gosh, why is it taking so long? But at the same time, I knew it was going to take a while. So that's why I am doing this video today. So I have snipped off the cover, and I will do the same for the back cover as well. Um, I don't plan to leave the back cover on if it's different from the front cover. So here is what I purchased uh, from Erin Condren, and I'm kind of excited for this like little mini haul video, but I haven't taken them out of the packaging yet. Here is the first one with my last name, 2016-17, and it's just the rainbow polka dots one. There's the back cover and her little card that comes with it. So that's going to be very cute. I also ordered um, this one as a social studies teacher I really liked this one I loved the one that had the map on it so this one doesn't have my name just 2016 17 and then this is the inside of the back cover it's got like a little dashboard whiteboard type thing which I believe almost all of the covers have now and this is my favorite I think just because I really like all of the colors in it um, I got this one that says do what you love and do it often just with the year down here at the bottom no name for me on this one and the back Woo! look at the gold and all the colors I really really like this one so I plan to put this on my plum paper planner and see if it works out. I was trying to do a little bit of research to see if they would fit, if the coils would be too big or too small or just right, and I wasn't really finding a lot of information. And so, it is the big test to see whether or not Erin Condren covers fit on the large plum paper teacher planner. All right, everyone, here is the final verdict. Does the Erin Condren covers, interchangeable covers, fit on a large plum paper teacher planner. Ready, set, go. And it does. <laughs> so the little tiny research that I did proves to be correct. Yes, the Erin Condren covers do fit very nicely on the large plum paper teacher planner. Um, again, they are the exact same size. The only um, minor thing is that the extra laminate plastic down here does extend further, a um, little bit further than the book, but that's okay because I really think that it will help protect the book. Um, so yes, this is very, very good news. I think that the interchangeable covers were absolutely well worth it. I decided to go Erin Condren with the interchangeable covers just because I, I kind of think that their covers just match my personality a little bit better. So that is the new cover, or at least one of them. And this is the inside of it, which is really exciting. The only minor issue that I have that I solved really quickly with a pair of scissors was that as I was putting the um, new cover on the spiral, I found that two of the little holes in the spiral were not cut. Um, whatever machine that they used just didn't cut them properly, and so I just snipped them. Um, 
and then just put it right in. So I'm very, very, very pleased with this. You have no idea. Again, this is a super thick cover, so I have no doubt that this will protect my book. Now, I um, haven't decided what I'm going to do with the original um, plastic cover. I think I might just snip it off because I don't have a reason to keep it, but I will end up snipping off the back cover as well and adding the back cover of this particular Erin Condren uh, interchangeable cover. A lot of you guys um, had a great suggestion. They said You guys said on Instagram to contact Plum Paper. Um, I could have, but it was kind of my own fault. Um, I just felt that it was my responsibility to let people know, not to leave it in the heat or the sun, um, just because I think that um, I think this cover right here, this protective cover, really kind of amplified whatever heat was kind of sitting on it. So don't leave it in your car, guys. Just don't do it. But if you do, and if you experience some warping, the Erin Condren uh, teacher planner covers, if you so choose to go in that direction, do fit on this planner. So I'm very excited. Thank goodness I could not have my planner looking all warped and stuff like that. So I'm very thankful for these. Something else that I also purchased uh, with, I'm looking for it right this second, with my covers are, um, oh, here they are. I also purchased these uh, little clip-in bookmarks. Uh, I know that at Michael's they sell the um, magnet clip-in bookmarks that just like magnet, whatever, they're, they're magnets. Um, but I found that that one was falling out um, a bunch as I kind of used and used it to flip. Also, these ones, um, since they are clip in to the coil, you can um, have them popping out of the book, which is, which is exactly what I want to happen. I wanna be able to put my finger in my book and just flip it to the correct page. So I did also purchase these. These are, I think, the watercolor whatever, the watercolor theme, but they're really pretty. I'm excited to use them for sure. So that is how I solved the problem. Thank goodness, right? Because this cover was looking a little crazy. So now I'm gonna open up my teacher planner really quickly and show you just how I am setting it up and how I plan to use it throughout the year. All right, everybody, so let's go ahead and open up this planner. I'm only going to show you just a couple things because to walk through the planner would make this video really, really long, but I'm just going to show you a couple things on how I am kind of organizing stuff and using this planner a little bit differently than last year. So one of the things that is different about this year's Plum Paper Planner uh, than last year's Plum Paper Planner is the very beginning of the spread. Let me say that again, the very beginning of the monthly spread. Last year, it was just notes page Pages, but this year um, they have like a little goal page which I think is really really helpful <laughs> and the only problem with this goal page is that it is just the right consistency or just the right type of paper where writing in pencil on it doesn't quite work. Um, I think you could comfortably write in pen on here, just be careful because it might smudge if you are a lefty like me. But instead I decided to put these little sticky notes that I already had um, inside the book. I just taped them inside the book. So for example, up here it just says goal one, goal two, goal three. And so I just taped these sticky notes there so that I could write comfortably on the sticky note. And if I needed to, I could just take it out and replace it with a new one. Um, right under here is, what does this say, birthdays and events and stuff, but since this is July, I didn't have any of those, so I just go ahead and put another sticky note there. And at the very bottom, this is just things to remember. I already had these really cute sticky notes from a place where I can't remember where my fiance got them from, but he generously bought them for me, and so I taped these in here and have been using it as my checklist. This particular checklist for July is the summer reading that I have been doing and every time that I read one of those books it gets a little sticker. Um, I've also been practicing some little fonts or whatever. Um, in my planner I plan to use these pens. Uh, these are the best pens in the freaking world. I know that a lot of people use those felt tip pens, pens but I couldn't get the hang of those. I felt like they were sticking to the paper a lot so I use these. I don't know how to pronounce this brand down here, Statler. Uh, but yeah, I love these pens, the fine lines. They're super, super thin, and they just really, let me see. There, you can see it right there on my forehead. Um, but they just pretty much glide over the paper, and I really like them. So something, again, that I am using for this year a little bit more than last year are stickers. I am like a huge fan of stickers. Now, I am not so creative and so, I don't know. I don't. I feel like I, I don't have enough time to do this. So those of you that do do this are awesome. 
people who have like regular everyday planners do like these amazing like sticker spreads and oh it's just beautiful and so I like to watch videos on that stuff but I don't do it myself so um, what I have invested in are just some sticker packs yeah um, this one was just from Michaels I don't remember who this is actually by I don't remember I don't remember. And then these ones came with the Happy Planner, uh, and you can get these at Michaels, and so I have been using these a whole bunch. Woo! Yeah, a whole bunch. This is a different, this also came with this one. Again, I, I forget who these are by. Ugh. But anyway, I have been using the stickers a lot. Um, I know that in this pack right here, it came with a bunch of holidays that I have already put in my planner. So I'm just going to show you the month of July really quickly and what it looks like. It looks a little crazy, so just warning you. Um, so this is July, and I have all of my professional developments in here. I've got my vacation time, I've got the Independence Day sticker, and I've got when Harry Potter comes out, and like anything that I have going on. So anytime I have something to remember, I use one of those Happy Planner stickers, and I just stick it in there, and you know, whatever. So that's kind of what it looks like. I've got all my webinars in there and stuff like that. So yeah, that is something that I am doing just to keep myself a little bit more organized. I'm just really kind of trying to personalize my planner a little bit more this year, make it a little bit more me, a little bit more colorful, a little bit brighter. So yeah, those are the big things that I am doing um, with the planner. And oh, I just forgot this one thing. So let me show you. The last thing that I am doing in the Plum Paper Teacher Planner in the back section, the My Class section, it has this very, very handy thing that I've been using since the beginning of last year to log professional development. So I have started, let's say in June, started logging my professional development for the summer. And as this year approaches and I get more, I will add it to this list. I'm evaluated partially on my professional development. So basically I just take a picture of this thing, upload it to that site, and that's how I'm evaluated because that's just how I'm able to do it. So yeah, it has a space for the date, uh, the name of the professional development, where you went for it, um, any notes. Uh, I've been doing a lot of online webinars by my fellow teachers that I follow on Instagram, so I have to note that as well. And uh, the amount of hours here at the very end. So I haven't gotten any of our curriculum documents that have been updated and so I haven't started long-term planning or anything like that so I'm hoping by the end of July uh, that those documents will be updated and I can start entering more school related stuff inside my planner. All right, so that is the end of this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed my little uh, test of whether or not an Erin Conjurin cover fits on to a large plum paper teacher planner. It does, I am saved, I'm really happy about this, and I don't know, this just looks more me, doesn't it? Well, you guys probably don't know me very well, but if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that this is way more me yeah, than the Plum Paper Teacher Planners uh, covers. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video, found some, something a little bit useful, and uh, I can't wait for my next video. So I hope you guys have a great Monday, and I will see y'all later. Bye!